Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute. It's been a little while since I've done a YouTube video. Uh, it took a little bit of a hiatus because, well, it just took a lot of work and I didn't feel like doing it. But I'm back now because I finally made it to 10K. 10K, actually 11K on Instagram now. And I said that I was gonna start doing YouTube videos again when I hit 10K and I did. So here I am for my first YouTube video back on YouTube in months and it's on a natural eyebrow tutorial look at these bad boys look uh. yes I'm sorry I just love the way I've been doing my eyebrows lately and I've been using a very I guess unconventional ingredient edge control yes so if you want to see how I achieved my natural eyebrows in like 20 minutes, <laughs> keep on watching. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is wax down my eyebrows with this edge control that I got from Eustations. It's the Naked at Home Laid Edge Control. I, I tried this out because I didn't have any more wax. I was like, you know what? I have this edge control laying around and it, it's like wax, right? Like it lays down my edges pretty well. So like, why can't it lay down my eyebrows the same way? And it worked. So the first thing I'm gonna do with it is take a little bit, take like a glob of it, and just kind of put it on my eyebrow. And I'm gonna zoom in real close so that y'all can see exactly what I'm doing. All right, so I'm taking that little glob of gel and just placing it at the bulk of my eyebrow. And then I'm taking my spoolie brush. And I really, really like the spoolie instead of like an actual eyebrow brush because it like really, really gets into those hairs. So I'm gonna take my little brush and just brush my hairs the way that they naturally go. So like the front right here goes up and then it starts to go at an angle and then it goes down. So just brushing their hairs where they naturally wanna grow. And then I like to take my brush and just dip it in the edge control like that and get it all onto the bristles and then go back into the eyebrow. So kind of like doing two coats, I guess. Waiting a couple minutes in between. All right, so I'm gonna let it dry like this. I like to brush everything up first and then let it dry and then I'm gonna go back and actually, you know, create the art. It's not gonna look all bushy like this. So I'm waiting for this one to dry, I'm gonna do this one. <laughs> okay, so when that's pretty much dry, I'm just gonna take the end of my spoolie and create my actual shape. So just like drag it along and just lay those hairs down. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know, I really like that look. I just like like the visible brow hair look. I don't know why, it's just very appealing to me. And since I got a lot of edge control going on on my face, I'm just gonna wipe it off. So while I'm letting my eyebrows dry, <laughs> it just sounds so weird saying letting my eyebrows dry. Like that just, it's just like a lot of work that I put into my eyebrows when I actually do them. It's kind of excessive. Anyway, while I let my eyebrows dry, I'm gonna go do my face and my eyes and everything and I'll be right back in like one, two, three. Swig oh, itches, oh my God. Oh. Itch is real. Wow. It just like came over me for a second. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's awful. That itch is terrible. Anyway, I hope you guys like my, my little look that I just did. So back to the eyebrows. So to fill in the eyebrows, I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetics Day to Night Palette because it has the perfect brown shade. It has the perfect brown shade um, that I use to fill in for my eyebrows. This one, it's 
kind of like a taupeish, like grayish brown shade. I don't know. Um, and then like this one, the browner shade. And sometimes I use the black for like the ends of my eyebrows. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna bring y'all closer in once again. So to fill in, I'm gonna start with that grayish brown shade, this one. And I'm just gonna start filling in the tail. Just doing with this really, really tiny, it's actually a painting brush. Focus! Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's a really, really small painting brush, like detail brush. And I have no problem using like painting brushes on my face because they work, so whatever. And I'm just gonna do really short, or I'm sorry, really thin hair like strokes. And they obviously don't have to be perfect because I'm trying to do this natural look. So. And I'm doing this all with a very, very light hand because I don't want it to be too harsh. And I'm just following the direction that the hairs are going in. So you can kind of see it starting to build up there. Uh. Now, the reason I don't like to use black to, or a darker brown to outline, or what am I trying to say? The reason why I don't like to use black or brown to fill in my eyebrows is because if you really take a look at your eyebrows in good lighting, like you can tell that they're not full black, or at least mine, like you can really tell the actual color of your eyebrows. Like mine aren't full black and then they're not actually brown. They're kind of like this grayish in between color. So that's why this color is perfect for my eyebrows, I feel. It makes it look just a lot more natural. And I'm not filling in too much just because I want it to look natural, so I'm gonna let my eyebrows take over most of the work. I'm not gonna kind of force it, if that makes any sense. So I'm just really filling in where it's scarce, but not trying to create like a whole new eyebrow or make it look like my eyebrows aren't real. I want them to look as real as possible. And then for the inner corner, I, I can use like that brownish shade, but I like to mix it with this gray shade as well because the front is a little bit lighter than the rest of the eyebrow. And I really like to take my time with this part. This isn't something that I do every day because who has the time for that but when i do fill my eyebrows this is what i like to do now as of late but it does take a little while because it's all about i guess the technique and the details of it. and then for the tail end to fill in some of these hairs and make it look just a little bit more gradient like i'm gonna use that black Fill in some gaps I have. And this is good for me for right now, like this technique, because I'm trying to let my eyebrows grow in. And I really don't want to keep tweezing them when they start, you can see them starting to grow in. So I just decided to own the thickness of my brows and just keep filling them in so they look natural until they're actually full and they actually grow back. Okay, so I think I'm getting to the point where I could start over filling soon, so I need to stop. Just take a step back, make sure it looks the way I want it to. Okay, okay. I dig it. I dig it. See, look at the difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. But it still looked natural. What? All right. So I'm gonna do the other eyebrow now. But I'm not gonna record it because my camera's about to die. 
All right, so now that the other one is done, we're gonna clean it up. So I'm gonna use my favorite thing in the whole wide world, but it's running out and I'm really, really sad and I can't buy any more. But it's the NYX Dark Circle Corrector. If you can see the label. If this does not focus, thank you. And then I'm gonna take my little Beauty 360, I think. Yes, Beauty 360, it's an eyeliner brush, but I really like to use it for outlining my eyebrows because the slant is just perfect. And then how dense the bristles are together, it's just, it's a really, really good brush for outlining. A little bit, just a tad, not a lot. Like this thing has lasted me a year and a half because I use it not a lot. Like I use it very sparingly on my eyebrows. So just take a little bit on one side of the brush, if you can see. So on one side and then the other side is clear. It's, to me it's easier. And then place the side that has the concealer on it along your eyebrow. So you can see that. And then just start tracing out the outline of your eyebrow. Just go right under your brow kind of you just kind of kind of create the shape that you want with this concealer as opposed to creating it with the shadow and work very carefully you don't want to mess up all the work we just did and then just kind of blend it out into your eyeshadow I usually don't do my eyeshadow first. I usually do my eyebrows first, but I didn't. I'm also gonna put this video on Instagram, and if I don't look semi put together on Instagram, people get really mean, and I'm just not trying to deal with looking at those comments. Speak, like, why are people so mean? I just like I don't understand. Like, people really don't have lives. Like, in order to comment negative things on random people's. Instagram videos, it's just like, do you have a life? I'm not sure. But then, I mean, it's it's like stupid because it shouldn't hurt your feelings, but Loki, that shit does. I mean, it really does sometimes. I'm not gonna lie, I let it get to me. Anywho, back to the brows. Now that the bottom is all lined up, I'm gonna do the top just the same way I did the bottom. All right, uh, and there is a brow. Look at the brow. Uh, oh, look at I love doing my brows like this. I'm sorry, I'm just excited. So you can kind of sort of see the difference between outlined and not outlined. I kind of like them both, but personally I would go for the outline more often than not. So I'm just gonna do the second one, and then I'll be done. When I said I'd be done after that eyebrow, I lied, because I totally forgot about highlighter. So to highlight this brow bone and bring it to life and make sure that people see it, man, because of all the work that I just put into it, people better see it, they better look at it, appreciate it. So I'm gonna use my Rude Cosmetics Highlighter Palette. This one, naughty, naughty with my little fan brush. I really should get a smaller fan brush. I used to have an artist fan brush, you know, like for watercolors and stuff. Was it for watercolors? I think so. And I would just use it for my brow bone. It was perfect, because it was like, it was, it was so small, it just fit right there. But I'm gonna have to improvise with this brush. So I'm just gonna pop it onto my brow bone. There. Uh. And blend it out. Jaw. Bam! All right, y'all, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on eyebrows, natural eyebrows. What was I gonna call it? 
I don't know. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the tutorial on how to fill in your eyebrows naturally um, with edge control and with eyeshadows. I really didn't use like any typical brow products at all. I mean, hey, what you gonna do? Um, so hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like it, please. Comment if you want a nice comment, you know, don't be mean. Um, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram. We're at 11.4K right now, y'all. Yay, I'm so happy. So let's keep that going. And I guess catch me back here for my next video. Bye.